it became the love of my life. I chose to make a better life for me and for my kids. Besides that, I fell in love with the business. Well, there's no doubt that there is still a glass ceiling for women in all kinds of industry, and especially in the culinary world. You know, over half of the graduates of culinary schools are women, yet less than 7% of women own restaurant businesses in this country. In the time of Escoffier, he really established the brigade system, which was based upon the idea of a military structure. That very traditional model created a lot of male chefs, who of course were inspired by their mothers, grandmothers, who did the traditional cooking at home. I got eight rejection letters that said, we don't take women in our kitchens. I'm a kid from Southie who lives in a housing project, zero education, but in my head, I knew what I wanted. I have this, this torment in me. I have this beautiful child. Uh, I'm a mother. I want to stay with her all the time. And yet I have this business and I'm passionate about it. And I want to do that and I need to do that. The pediatrician looked me straight in the eyes and he said, children want happy parents. Make it happen. People tried to pick on me because I was female. And so I had to work harder to show them that I could be at their level. At the age of 50, I had breast cancer. And so I felt, I have nothing to lose. So why not take a chance? I don't take no. When somebody says, you cannot do it, I say, yes, of course I can do it. When it comes to family, women bear the responsibility. At times, my kids suffered. My father was very famous. My parents, at the beginning, they thought I will change to something else. I didn't need to change. So I just kind of kept my head down and worked hard and I really didn't look up for two years. There's more conflict, right. I think, for a woman to make that decision to really dive into this profession. I was 29, two little kids, and uh, in the Greek culture, there was no way in hell you'd go home and say, I want to get a divorce. Everybody came after me. Creditors, bills, loans, half a million dollars. Everything was on my shoulders. Tonight is a, a murder night, you understand? Don't screw up tonight, because guess what? You're going to McDonald's. Her energy was unlike anybody else's I've ever worked for. There were no roadblocks that were going to stop Belle. She put everything she had into it. I had a vision just to work. I have nothing, but I will make something. I became a bull and I kept on going. And the winner is Iron Chef Clark. <laughs> going forward, what women have to look at is they have to create their own destiny. Women can cook as hard and fast as men. My first cake went to the Carlisle Hotel. The Pierre found out, the Plaza found out, and all the hotels said, hey, there's a new kid in town. And then, of course, they discovered it was a 50-year-old woman. My plate is an empty canvas, and, you know, I can draw from it. I fell in love with the symphony of it, the dance of it. It's just my wanting to be at the top of what I'm doing. I consider myself almost a conduit for a culture. I carry the Italian tradition from my native country to America. When you have the organic uh, ingredients and when you follow your heart and say, what am I going to give to the world? Like here in the CAA, they are now equal woman or more. And before it was not like that, no? My last meal would be cooked by a woman. Ladies, let's go!